So that was the 911 call made on August 22nd after Dallas McCarver, a 26-year-old bodybuilder, was found dead in his apartment. This would be, sadly, just the first of two deaths that the bodybuilding experienced that week, with Rich Piana, a 46-year-old bodybuilder, passing away three days later after spending two weeks in a medically induced coma. Um, it was shocking and heartbreaking, to say the least, to the bodybuilding community after their deaths were confirmed. Um, both of these guys were avid ambassadors of the bodybuilding industry, um, with Dallas McCarver being one of the youngest pros ever when he got his pro card at the age of 21 and was en route to be rumored to be among the top five at the Mr. Olympia had he been alive to compete this last September. Um, Rich Piana is a veteran of the industry and for decades has been known uh, to have a no-holds-barred view and um, topics of discussion when discussing bodybuilding um, and talking about a lot of topics that are otherwise kept hush-hush in the bodybuilding world, i.e. anabolic steroids. Um, there was obvious speculation of their deaths and the causes of their deaths minutes after it was um, confirmed on social media, many of which were leaning towards um, that steroids were the main cause of their death. Um, I feel a lot of people jump on this bandwagon just because of the size of these guys and what they choose to do for a living without having any actual um, basis of knowledge of how these um, supplements work and, and how safe or dangerous they are. Um, as you heard in that 911 call, Dallas's friend Jeff was saying that there was something in Dallas's throat and that when he was administering CPR, it felt like no air was kind of getting through. And so the headlines read the next day that Dallas's cause of death was by choking to death. Um, sadly, the autopsy revealed um, and confirmed that it was due to an overdose of insulin. Um, insulin is something that's naturally occurring in our bodies, but bodybuilders take it for the anabolic um, or muscle building properties that it can possess. Um, when you take too much, it strips your body of all um, blood glucose or blood sugar and your body just systematically shuts down and there's not much you can do after a certain point. Um, and he was probably choking to death because um, he was simultaneously dying while trying to take in sugar uh, to reverse the effects of the dose that he had just taken. Rich Piana's death was confirmed, which we kind of knew going into it when he was in the in the coma for the two weeks, that it was an overdose of opioids um, and that his body just couldn't recover from the damage done from that. Um, I'm not sitting here and I'm not doing this speech as an advocate for steroid use or to say that it's healthy um, or that people should use it outside of the world of professional bodybuilding and or for medical reasons. Um, I am saying though that people tend, like I said in my previous speech about the top half that everybody jumps on the bandwagon um, and makes these assumptions with having no real facts. So let's look at the facts of steroid use and deaths in America. Um, PubMed published a study and they had cited 189 sources and um, using materials from medical journals to statistical data reports and from the year uh, 2000 or sorry 1990 to 2012 there was 19 deaths associated with steroid use or more specifically, the misuse of steroids. Um, in that same time frame, around 2010, the National Institute on Drug Abuse published a study and they had reported 1,084,000 adult Americans um, either currently were or have used steroids uh, in the past 365 days. Uh, which when we compare the two numbers, that is 0.002 of a percent. Um, so it's not a large amount when you take into consideration the amount of users and the amount of deaths that are associated with it. However, that's not my only standpoint. That's still an alarmingly large number of adult Americans who are using steroids um, either seriously or dabbling in them. And I can almost guarantee that a small percentage actually know um, why they're taking it, what they do, how the compounds mix and what the long-term effects are moving forward. Um, we live in a day and age where everybody wants to be bigger, stronger, faster, and they all want it done yesterday. We see this in the bodybuilding world where there are 15, 16-year-old kids who are starting to run steroid cycles because they want to emulate the professional bodybuilders or they are trying to achieve that physique that they want and they want it done in the shortest amount of time. To me, this is like a 16-year-old kid 
who gets his driver's license and then hops in an F1 car and thinks that he knows what he's doing. There are irreversible effects that can happen, especially from using steroids at that young age. Um, steroids have their place and the professional bodybuilders that use them um, are highly educated and their coaches are highly educated on all the cellular processes that happen by using them. And there's obviously medical reasons for using steroids as well, um, for AIDS, for muscle wasting, um, people that used Anavar and things like Nobledex for women who have breast cancer because it works as an estrogen receptor blocker. So it has medical benefits to it. Um, it does sadden me that, uh, that Dallas died due to using supplements in the name of bodybuilding. I feel like it gives the naysayers their golden ticket to say, see, I told you so, was still not broadening any of their knowledge regarding the topic. Um, however, there does need to be more education and sources of real information. A lot of what Rich was trying to do um, with his forums and with his YouTube channels um, and, and more advocates for young people, um, people within the sport who are not professional bodybuilders and spectators of the sport that are trying to emulate those guys that they look up to, um, to put in the work the right way and not just to jump to the chemicals that can have um, very serious results and cause very serious harm uh, when used improperly. I hope that if anything comes from Dallas's death, um, that it is among, that even among professional bodybuilders, mistakes can be made um, and doses are never exact and these drugs are to be respected and to be used with extreme caution. Good job.